Welcome to the lesson, Graphing Quadratic Functions in Intercept Form. Intercept form is written f of x equals a times the quantity x minus p times the quantity x minus q. p and q are the x-intercepts, sometimes referred to as the roots of your quadratic function. Noting this is very much like your vertex form, that it's x subtract the value. So if this were x minus 2, p would have a value of 2. If it were x add 2, p would have a value of negative 2. Noting that a here is the same value of a of this form if that if it was written in vertex form or in standard form. The axis of symmetry is halfway between your x-intercepts. So the axis of symmetry will fall halfway between. Therefore, you can find the axis of symmetry using this formula. Add your x-intercepts and divide by two, and this will be the equation of your vertical line that is your axis of symmetry. The graph will open up if a is greater than zero, the graph opens down if a is less than zero. So if a were negative, it's a reflection in the x-axis. Noting also here that the value of a greater than one tells you it's a vertical stretch. If a is between zero and one, then you know the absolute value of a, then you know that it is a vertical shrink. Let's go through the steps of graphing a quadratic function in intercept form. You first want to identify and plot the x-intercepts p and q. Draw the axis of symmetry halfway between these intercepts. Use the axis of symmetry to evaluate and find the vertex. So once you know the equation of the axis of symmetry, that's your x-coordinate of your vertex. Plug that in and evaluate to find your y-coordinate of your vertex. And step four, draw a smooth curve through your points. Let's go ahead and try an example. Here's the quadratic function, f of x equals negative three times the quantity x minus four multiplied by the quantity x plus two. So step one, we wanna identify and plot the x-intercepts, p and q. So we have one intercept of positive four and one intercept of negative two. So we plot negative two and positive four on our coordinate grid. Step two, we wanna draw the axis of symmetry halfway between these points. So two, four, six is my distance divided by two is three, so I go one, two, three. So halfway between, so equidistant, three units from each root, or negative two plus four is two, divided by two is one. So our axis of symmetry is the line x equals one. Step three, we're gonna use that axis of symmetry to evaluate the function to find the vertex. So I take my function and input one, which is my axis of symmetry. Evaluate it for an output of 27, giving me a vertex of 127. And final step four, draw a smooth curve. So here's my vertex and I have my roots. Comparing this to the parent function, we know that it's a reflection in the X axis. It is horizontally translated one unit to the right and 27 units up, and it's a vertical stretch by a factor of three. Your turn. Please pause this video, graph this function, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Step one, you should have identified and plotted the x-intercepts. P and Q, we have negative three, positive two. Draw the axis of symmetry, which is halfway between. Negative three plus two divided by two is negative one half. 
input negative one half and evaluate for an output of negative five, giving you a vertex of negative one half, negative five, and draw a smooth curve. So here we have our axis of symmetry, the line x equals negative one half. Our vertex is on that line, negative one half, negative five, and here are my x-intercepts, negative three and positive two. We can go ahead and take anything that's written in intercept form, which is also factored form, another word for it could be factored form, and write it in standard form. To do so, you want to multiply x minus 4 times x plus 2, and then you want to distribute a, negative 3, giving you in standard form the same function, negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 24. We can also take a function written in standard form and write it in intercept form. You simply factor it. x minus 3 times x plus 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Thank you for joining me today.